I like, know cap, man. I can't believe I got this sneaker in front of me. I can't believe I got one of those 2020 Infinity Stones in front of me. Welcome, cool cats and doggies, to another episode of Figure Sneaks. Today, we got a special edition of Cop Intensities and the Dubs. I didn't even win this shoe, but somehow I still got my hands on it. I gotta give praise to the ones that helped me out. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can see new content. This is a sneaker channel with some comedy. We like to uh, form you on stuff that's coming out. Um, we shoot for two, three, maybe a week. Videos, that is. Um, but uh, we're trying to push the envelope, you know, we're trying to get big out here, become a household name. So like I said, like and subscribe, turn on the notifications so you can see what's popping over here. Now, let's get into it. If you're not familiar with this box, this is a regular Nike SB box, or maybe not even Nike SB, just Nike Dunk box. And um, it's not special edition, that's colorful behind me. But I don't know why it wouldn't be, it should be. Yeah, you can see that that says Big Feet Gang right there, so that's 13 right there, that's, you know, that's me. I'm in there, gang gang. I gotta go over to shoot with you, because it's crazy, yo. As you can see, if it doesn't fall out of the box, there's bodega paper right there. That's a nice little touch. I'm gonna have a backstory for Bodega, but yeah, that's the paper. And now let's show you the shoe. So here you go. Here's the Dunk High and the Bodega collab. It is the legend, Fauna Brown. I know, I know, this might not be for all, but once I tell you the backstory, maybe you like it more, just like I appreciate it more. Let me real quick give you two backstories, right? So I'm, you know, at the gym at Export. I'm just going about my business, and then I get back to the, my crib, and my girl's like. Hey, uh, Theo and Liv, shout out to Theo and Liv, they know who they are, appreciate y'all, that fam. Uh, they're like, yo, uh, did like Theo and Liv drop you off a birthday present? Now, mind you, this is after my birthday, too, my birthday was in January. And, uh, these bad boys came out December 28th on Bodega, and then December 30th on Sneakers, and I hit both fouls, that was dead. And then I'm like, yo, what could it be? I had no clue it was this shoe, you know? And then she pulls out a shoe, and I'm like, stop joking with me, you know? And, and I see this bad boy and immediately had to text both of them Theo and Liv because if y'all are new to sneakers, okay, I wear 13, 13 is impossible to get. So half the time when I'm trying for shoes, I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to try for 11 and then I'll just side swap or sell to a friend that wears 11. Notoriously, me, my friend Theo, Justin, most of my friends, we have a conspiracy plan that women always win. And the biggest winner I know of 2020 is Liv. I'm not going to put her business out there because I probably do a vault section with her when I go over her collection, you know, so I'm not going to put the shoes out. But of course, I send a group text out to them like, yo, which one of y'all want? And she's like, come on now, you know, it's me. She thinks she hot shit. She all right, but she thinks she hot shit. But yeah, man, she won it for me and I guess they just dropped it off. So let's get into the shoe. This shoe starts off at 120 bucks, 10 dollars over the regular price tag. Um, this is the Bodega collab. If you're unfamiliar, Bodega is usually that store you go to when you're like New York or Philly or Boston or something. More specifically for this case would be Boston because that's where Bodega's headquarters is at. You will walk in and buy your Snapples, your Starburst, your Mystics, your Hearst chips. So if you do that in Boston, you walk in you think it's a convenience store. And if you go to the Snapple machine, apparently there's a little patch, there's a little door right there in the cut. It takes you back to a special boutique where they have clothes and sneakers and stuff finer goods um they started out in 2006 and like you pay homage to them just being the og in the game and giving them their dunk so this is their dunk and that's how we got here so they basically explain the shoe as classic americana now you can take that as saddles you can take that as old school western boots you can take it as a baseball glove and a lot of people usually reference the baseball glove now this shoe is made up of a bunch of leathers suede and rawhide yeah rawhide the laces actually comes in the shoe. It looks almost like rawhide as well. And the only reason why I say that is because it also comes with black laces. That's not far off, but you can see that the material is different. If you're looking at the top of the shoe and going down towards the toe box, you'll see that it says Nike in red with this little glossy feel on the tongue. And as you go down, you'll see different brown leathers and black leathers. This shoe also has one great hidden thing. If you look inside the shoe, it says hidden in plain sight. This little stash pot to put your $20 bill, whatever the case you may want to put in there. And that's an ode to the store, you know, going to your bodega, just going to get turkey and cheese and some Hearst chips. I say Hearst chips because I'm from Philly. And then picking up that Mystic Snapple and seeing that, oh my goodness, there's a fashion store in the back of that store in Boston. So I think that's real cool to have. 
And you also have one of those on the Travis Scott one, which is ironically another brown and black shoe. But yeah, man, I think this shoe is great. I actually have never used the saddle. Actually, I've been on a horse once. I definitely don't wear boots. I just wear sneakers and flip flops. And um, I don't play baseball. That would be like the only sport I don't watch. So I was shocked to like this shoe, but I definitely wanted it. Their main reason behind it is to be timeless. You'll wear it and it'll be better the more you wear it. So when it breaks down, it looks like it's aged. So starting on the front of the shoe, you start off with brown suede and then sail leather for the toe box. As you head towards the middle of the shoe, you'll see a tortoise shell jeweled Nike swoosh. That's surrounded by hairy suede, that's what I like to call it, but it's basically just brown suede. As you head towards the back of the shoe, you see what they like to call pebble leather. This time it's not just leather, it's pebble leather. You'll see more raw hide, especially as you try to insert your foot at the top of the heel, and you'll see sail suede on the back. The details are just crazy once you get to the back of the shoe. You have this intricate stitching on the suede and on the leather, as well as all the raw hide and the suede pool. It's just so much detail on the back. As you wrap around to the inside of the shoe, you see iron branded bodega in the middle section, obviously around the hairy suede. You have sail leather for the midsole, and then it looks like gum, so we're just gonna go with gum, a brown gum sole. The time and effort that make a shoe like this and a price point at $120, it obviously made sense why this shoe sold out and why everyone's flocking to get Nike Dunks. The shoe fits true to size. It's perfect. So, let's get into according to my calculations. Now this shoe retailed for $120 and it's currently going for roughly $330 for most shoe sizes. So, $200 if you haven't worn your shoes. This is a shoe that I got as a gift. I'm definitely going to keep. I'm definitely going to wear I can't even think about flipping. I would never do that after Theo and Liv held it down. And plus, I feel like I got an Infinity Stone. One of the Infinity Stones. Yeah, you can go get for around 330 if you missed out for them. Or you can spend some more bread and get the Friends and Family Edition. You were only able to get that shoe if you won this one on the 28th from Bodega. And then you had some ticket or something that allows you to get the Friends and Family. Now... I know I'll never see that pair, but I don't need that pair. I have this pair. I'm really happy that I got one of these Infinity Stones. What I mean by that is, uh, you know, all those Nike shops that came out and got their collab, you know, finally gave an appreciation and whatnot. Um, that's the Bodega, that's the uh, Concepts, that's Union with their fours and their ones. I'm trying to collect them all and be a uh, Monday sneaker Thanos. So I'm happy I got a Bodega. You know, shout out one more time to Theo and Liv. I appreciate y'all. Um, Thank you for the birthday present. That's awesome. Now, um, we're about to head out. Thank you for tuning in. But before we do, I wanted to say um, RIP to Mac Miller, man. RIP to XXX. RIP to Nip. Obviously, more people passed away in the recent year and whatnot. But as far as music, I had to go buy this swimming um, hoodie. I bought it right when Mac passed. That's my boy. He's also from PA, just like me. You know, he's from the Berg. Um, but yeah, that's it, man. Thanks for tuning in to Vegan Sneaks. Um... We'll catch you in the next video. Peace. All in all, you can see the time and effort they put into the shoe that make the shoe the shoe that it is when it's the shoe all the time. Like I said, I never did saddling. I never did saddling. What was saddling? A saddle, like for, a saddle. A saddle is a horse. You mean horseback riding? Yeah.